Toxins in the blood are removed by a bean-shaped organ in the body called the kidney, and excreted in the urine. In kidney failure the kidney loses the ability to perform this function and as a result, toxins build up in the body leading to various diseases. In America, more than 1 in 7 people are affected with chronic kidney diseases, and up to 37 million Americans are affected. Early symptoms of this condition can normally be caused by other diseases, so it is overlooked. However, the severe symptoms show up at later stages when the disease is already advanced. This video will be showing you warning signs that your kidney might be crying for help, and how to prevent kidney issues at early stages because as Albert Schwitzer said, the doctor of the future is oneself. These symptoms include, number 1, metallic taste in the mouth. Metallic taste in the mouth also known as dysgasia, is one of the symptoms experienced by those suffering from kidney diseases. Food tend to taste metallic and due to the change in the taste of food, there is also loss of appetite in these individuals, and can result in weight loss, they also tend to have bad breath. This metallic taste in the mouth is as a result of a buildup of toxins in the body known as uremia. Number 2, Swelling of the Feet and Legs. When the kidney back quote s are not working as they should, there is a buildup of fluid in the body which is as a result of sodium buildup in the body. This fluid that is retained in the body then results in swollen feet and legs. This can also be a symptom of other conditions like vein, heart or liver diseases so it is best to get checked to know the exact cause. Number 3, Fatigue. Because the kidney cannot filter toxins from the blood properly, our blood can become very contaminated, which can make us feel weak, dizzy, and unable to concentrate. Additionally, healthy kidneys produce erythropoietin, a hormone that helps the body produce red blood cells. Because red blood cells carry oxygen throughout our bodies, the fewer red blood cells we have, the more frail and tired we will feel. Are you enjoying our video or gaining value from this video so far? Remember to like, subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss out on more of our videos like this. Number 4, Urine Problems. The primary function of the kidney is blood filtration which results in the production of urine, there is a problem when there is frequent urination which is followed by pain or burning sensation. Additionally, if you observe a decrease in the amount of urine, that may also indicate a kidney issue. If you frequently wake up in the middle of the night to urinate, that may also be an indication of kidney failure and it will do you good to go see a doctor. Number 5, Foamy Urine, Excessive Foaming in the Urine particularly those that need multiple flushes to disappear, is a sign that there is protein present. This protein called albumin, is a common protein present in both eggs and also in urine, and the froth that produces may resemble the foam created when scrambling eggs. Blood in urine also known as hematuria can be a sign of kidney infections, tumors or kidney stones or kidney failure. Number 6, Shortness of Breath. Breathlessness is typically associated with heart or lung conditions, but kidney disease can also cause it. Shortness of breath can result from the accumulation of toxins and excess fluids in the lungs, which our kidneys are unable to filter. In some severe cases, anemia and low red blood cell counts can also deprive the body of oxygen. Lying down makes you feel as though you're drowning, if you experience this, you need to visit a doctor right away. Number 7, Trouble Sleeping. As already mentioned, a kidney that is not working properly fails to remove impurities from the blood as it would normally do, this will make it difficult to sleep and get proper rest, it can also cause sleep apnea. Apnea is a sleep disorder that causes your breathing to stop and start. This can make you snore loudly, and in rare situations, it can even be obstructive. In persons with chronic kidney disease, sleep apnea is fairly common. Number 8. Dry and itchy skin. Healthy kidneys do many important jobs. They help make red blood cells, keep bones healthy, remove wastes and excess fluid from your body, and maintain the proper level of minerals in your blood. In advanced renal diseases, when the kidneys are unable to maintain the proper balance of minerals and nutrients in your blood, dry and itchy skin can manifest. Also the toxins in the blood can cause skin reactions. Number 9. Persistent puffiness around your eyes. Your kidneys may be releasing a lot of protein into the urine rather than storing it, which is why you may have puffiness around your eyes and face, so not only your feet, ankles and hand will be swollen, but also your face, this is a sign that your kidney might be failing. 
This symptom can be a signal of other disorders so do well to get it checked out. We have talked about some of the major symptoms that will be experienced in liver failure, now let's talk about some of the things to do to prevent it. These steps will lower your risk of developing kidney failure. Number 1. Taking medicine as advised by the physician. Be careful with medication and do not take more than you are required to. When taken in excess, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications like ibuprofen might harm your kidneys. Take medication in moderation and only when absolutely necessary as other types of medications, such as proton pump inhibitors, can increase your risk of developing renal disease. Number 2. Monitor your kidney function. If you have a family history of cardiovascular disease, are over 60 years old, born with a low birth weight, you should test your kidney function regularly because you're at risk. It's the best way to prevent any further complications. For persons with high blood pressure or a family history of such problems, routine screening is also advised. It is recommended that those who are obese get frequent kidney screenings as well. It is always better to prevent illness than to treat it, so take good care of your body, lead an active lifestyle, and maintain healthy kidneys. Number 3. Regulate your blood sugar. High blood sugar from diabetes can damage blood vessels in the kidneys, as well as nephrons so they don't work as well as they should, so those people who have diabetes are at risk of developing kidney diseases. It is of importance that they regulate their blood sugar to avoid it. Diabetes patients need to be very careful about their kidney health. However, if you can identify damage early on, by getting frequent checkups at the doctor, you can stop further damage. Number 4. Stop drinking and smoking excessively. It is said that too much of everything is bad. In general, heavy drinking and smoking will raise your blood pressure and harm your kidneys over the long term, because high blood pressure will constrict the narrow blood vessels in your kidneys, weakening them over time. If you smoke, try to stop. If you drink alcohol, try to limit how much you consume. Number 5. Do not use many supplements. Medication is not good for your kidneys, nor are vitamins and other herbal extracts. Your kidneys may have to work harder to filter out the waste from these compounds, so don't overdo it with these supplements or consult your doctor first. Your doctor may be able to study the contents in all of these supplements and let you know if there are any concerns for your kidneys. Number 6. Follow a healthy diet. Unhealthy diet is one of the factors that is attributed to many disease condition, ensure that you adhere to a nutritious diet plan. Considering that food is the finest medicine of all, a healthy diet pays well in the long run. Number 7. Exercising regularly. Staying active is generally good for the body, it helps the lungs, heart, kidneys, the whole body as a whole. Exercise can range from running, cycling, swimming, boxing etc. It is best to incorporate exercising in your daily activities as it will help to keep the doctor away. Following these preventative measures, are some of the ways you can avoid the issue of kidney disease or kidney failure, so if you are not already doing them, it is best that you start. Have you enjoyed this video? Give us a like, subscribe and turn on your notification button for more helpful videos like this. Thanks for watching.